pressure washers. Now they're arguably the most important piece of detailing equipment that you'll ever buy. We've had a pretty good result here. Just using the stubby gun and a decent pressure washer, we've been able to remove, I'd say, about half the road mud and grime from this pickup. This is the original, this is the pressure washed side, just with water. I think the foot rails have come out particularly well. We've got areas around the bottom of the door. I didn't want to get too close because obviously we've got vinyl here, but I went about as close as you'd want to get with a really powerful pressure washer, and especially with these little attachments here for the quick connect, because you can really do damage to paint if you get too close. So I'd say this is about as comfortable as you'd want to be. A lot of people don't know this, but what you can do with a pressure washer, often, not with all of them, but with most, is that if they've got a dip tube or a dosing bottle, you can add some detergent into that stream of water going on your car to improve the cleaning ability. Now let's get the pressure squash out. This is our magic ingredient that's going to supercharge your pressure washer. Something about these little caps here, very difficult to remove. Little tip, use a screwdriver and just take off the tabs. It's a security tab to stop it leaking in transit. Once that's off, easy. Now what you can also do is leave it to dwell a little bit longer after you've been over it the first time. That's going to give the chemicals a little bit of a chance for them to do some work. Then just rinse in the normal way. After you've used the pressure squash, you can run it through with normal water just to clear the pressure washer and make sure there's no chemical left in there whatsoever. Look at that for a 50-50. So we've got one side just using pressure squash and water versus using water, you can see that Without touching the vehicle at all, just using the pressure washer, we've been able to get it much, much cleaner. It's probably 80% clean rather than 50% clean. Of course, a lot of people are going to say, it's a video, it's the internet, you've just faked all of this, you've done this side 50 times over, you did this from a further away with just two or three hits. Well, you know what? We're going to go back just with water and we're going to do a final rinse. And that final rinse is going to show you with the maximum that can be achieved on either panel, the one that's been pressure squashed and the one that's just been pressure washed. Let's have a look. Now we've been beasting this as hard as we can and to be fair there's a little bit of pressure squash still left in the gun so this had a little bit of detergent as well but you can see that even getting super close probably closer than you'd really want to get you can achieve more cleaning with the pressure squash side than without. Pressure squash it's a pressure washer additive levels up your pressure washer game adds chemicals at the pressure washer stage. Now you can use a TFR, you can use a snow foam afterwards, but this integrates it into one process. Pressure squash is available for £28 for five litres, so it's only available in a large size. You can use it neat, or you can also put it into a bucket and dilute it down further. If you want to do that, we'd recommend 50-50 with water, see how you get on. You're still going to get those chemicals on the panel, they're just not going to be quite as strong. Anyway, I better go and finish the rest of this before PJ gets annoyed.